Good Friday morning, South Florida. I'm CBS4 meteorologist Asset Gonzalez with your tropics update, and we continue to monitor this area of showers and storms, this trough of low pressure that has been lingering across the state. The Hurricane Center says it has a 40% chance of developing over the next five days, but really it's just going to keep our atmosphere very moist and unsettled over the next couple of days. We're going to continue to see the potential for heavy rain and flooding. In the meantime, we have a very dangerous Category 2 Hurricane Harvey already seeing the outer rain bands impacting coastal areas of Texas and right now as of the 8 a.m. advisory uh, Max is seeing winds 110 miles per hour and Harvey is forecast to become a major category 3 hurricane before making landfall along the Texas coastline sometime late tonight or into tomorrow morning and then it is expected to just meander and sit across the area here across Texas and Louisiana coastline historic rainfall will be possible. Some areas could see more than 35 inches of rain, meaning two to three feet in terms of rainfall expected through the next couple of days. Hurricane warnings and watches, tropical storm warnings, watches have been issued from the Texas coastline, from Houston, all the way through Galveston, Corpus Christi, down into Brownsville, and eastern Mexico right there under a tropical storm watch. So it's going to be a one, two, three punch with Harvey. Not only we see the damaging destructive winds but also storm surge will also be very dangerous we will see those storm surge warnings and watches in place from Houston down through Brownsville and also we have flash flood warnings and flash flood watches in place so of course we are keeping our thoughts and prayers with our friends there along the Texas Louisiana Gulf Coast as they prepare for what could be a very destructive and devastating Hurricane Harvey